Have you ever wanted a homeschooling method that interacts seamlessly with your life? Have you ever wanted a homeschooling method where you can teach your children good habits? A homeschooling method where you can get out into nature and just enjoy God's creation and the sunshine? Well, this is the Charlotte Mason homeschooling method. Hi, my name is Rebecca Devitt and today we're going to be talking about the Charlotte Mason homeschooling method. Before we get started, make sure you sign up to this channel. If you're on YouTube, make sure you click the alert button because I'm going to continue releasing more videos like this to help you not only understand homeschooling better, but also to talk you through great homeschooling methods and curricula. Charlotte Mason said that education should be an atmosphere, a discipline and a life. By atmosphere, she meant that it should be coming out of the parents, the children should be learning from the parents, and indeed we are very much the children's example. And so in this way, education is an atmosphere. Homeschoolers are going to absorb a lot from their home life. They're going to absorb a lot of the ideas that the parents hold true, and this is very much their education. Charlotte Mason also thought that education should be a discipline. In particular, she was very, very fond of teaching good habit in education and she believed that this should be something that we as parents should cultivate in children. She didn't think that children just would necessarily learn them on the fly. She rather believed that we needed to be very deliberate about the habits we taught our children. And that when we taught these habits, they would go into adulthood and then they would have those good habits like perseverance, like attention to detail, like perfectionism in their work. And, and she would try to cultivate that in her students. Charlotte Mason also had a peculiar way of teaching academics. She wanted to infuse life into it. She didn't want children to learn from dry textbooks. Instead, she wanted the children to learn from what she called living books. So these are books where children could learn from stories. So for example, you might learn about a whale or you might learn about shipping or sailors from the book Moby Dick, which is a famous uh, book about a whale which is hunted in a way but also ends up hunting a ship and the language in that is amazing so children learn good language and they also learn a lot about history they learn a lot about whale anatomy a lot of things in that book but they're not just presented as dry facts in a textbook and said children can learn about them in a story and in that way because you are triggering their interest they remember it more Charlotte Mason also had a great way of testing children so the way she would test them was to get them to narrate or tell back what they had just heard so this would encourage them to form that habit of attention to detail and children would really listen to a story because then they were expected to tell back what they just heard. What this meant is that they were paying attention and that they would be able to test it in a way that wasn't confrontational. What this also developed in children is an ability to talk well, to make speeches well, to be able to articulate what they had just heard instead of it just going in here and not being able to come out of their mouths properly. Charlotte Mason also thought nature was an amazing teacher. She encouraged children to get out there with a textbook and a pencil and sketch out the leaves and the flora and fauna that was available everywhere. She would encourage parents to take a walk and observe the differing landscapes, the weather, that sort of thing. So nature really could be the children's teacher. What she wanted children to do was really, really pay close attention to things like spiders, to bees, that sort of thing. And that way, again, they're learning that habit of attention and they're just learning about the amazing things in God's creation. A lot of children get quite bored learning a list of spelling words. Instead, Charlotte Mason would have children learn that from books. So she would have them learn their spelling and their handwriting from books and in that way the children be, would be more interested to learn, they would pay closer attention, they would be more perfect in the things that they were doing because they were more interested and because they saw the point of it. That is, you're not just learning this spelling word because your teacher says you should, but you're learning this spelling word so you can understand the great books 
more closely. She also taught the composers and the great artists to children and in this way the children got the point of learning these things because they were seeing these amazing paintings and going wow this is history again there's a higher level of relevance. The Charlotte Mason homeschooling method is particularly popular with a lot of homeschoolers and this is because it can be carried out in a home situation very well. That is mothers can just take their children out when it suits them out into the open spaces or they can take their time with a book and they can answer questions, the children can slowly narrate things back. You can imagine that this would be a lot more difficult in a school setting to, to carry this out um, in a way that would encourage children to be perfectionists and pay attention to detail and to really enjoy it and be able to interact with their teacher one on one. Compared to classical education, it is certainly a more gentle way of doing education. In fact, Charlotte Mason was a classical educator, that was how she was trained, but she thought that children should be taught in a little bit more of a gentle manner and that they should be given a liberal education that is an education covering a broad amount of topics but yeah it should be nice and gentle and I think that's what she does really really well and I have a lot of admiration for Charlotte Mason. If you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below. So that's it if you want more information about homeschooling please visit my website howdoihomeschool.com also if you've liked this video please like subscribe comment and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.